we can ch- check this. Pull up on who is the domain for Stop Big Con was registered on 12 12 2022. Who is.com? Stop Big Con was registered on 12 12 2022. Internet sleuths are going to catch him. Crowder announces him. he left the blaze and asked people to sign up for Mug Club on 12 15 2022. It was all a pl- like, the fact, like, listen, I love you, Internet sleuths, because this is, of course, was going to happen. And this is the problem is that Steven has to realize people are smart. Okay. People are smart. They're going to figure it out. Oh, so you happened to look up the to to register Big Con. Yeah. Let's confirm that. What's Stop the Big website? Con. Yeah. I got it right is here. It there you go. Right now we are 12 12 2022. So it this is, was, this was registered. Yeah. Stop Big Con was registered before he announced he was leaving the blaze. Is, is that, that what it was? Isn't that so weird? I he thought... announced he was leaving the blaze on 12th. I don't well, know. look, guys, and, and again, Crowder will be here on Monday. He can tell, tell us about all of this. I don't want... I'm, and I'm, then he I'm recorded not... his conversation with Jeremy two months after that? I just want to say, like, we're, 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 we're in the middle, as per usual. Candace was booked a month and a half ago, you know, and this whole drama lights up. And then uh, we talked with Crowder. Uh, he, we, we asked him to come on and talk about this, so... I mean, I, there are I, so many things that I disagree with the Daily Wire on. Like, so many things. This is just not one of them. Like, this is just actually someone's being a bad person and plotting against them. That's it. That's all That's all this is, right? And that's what I want to say. Because like I said before, I've been with the Daily Wire for three years. You've never heard me come out and defend them. But they're in trouble every other week with a different host for something that they said, something that they haven't said. Ben Shapiro's under fire at least once a week on Twitter. People are angry at him. They think he's a show for this, blah, 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 blah. I don't weigh in on anything. This actually, Stephen Crowder's a bad person. I was thinking, what period. if they just paid Stephen $50 million for his back catalog and then put it on Daily Wire exclusive? And, you, and the only way to see Stephen is to go to Daily Wire. Like, that would... I don't know if fifty million would be worth it, but four year terms all well, is back. If you had a lawyer, you could negotiate. Or you that. could go what if you could go into dailywire.com and then pay ninety nine cents on a crowder video to watch it for the day and then Steven gets half the revenue or something. I mean, there's well, so many well, cool well, things we could do. I mean they, I you think guys could do. It would require Steven to just look at the contra- the, the term sheet and then be like, I'd rather do it this way. Here you go. There you go. I, a conversation. Imagine he's got that. I'm interested to talk to him, Steven, because I think he's got specific feelings and perspectives on what big tech censorship can do to a content creator that needs to be vocalized for future contract negotiations. Mm-hmm. I've been concerned about contracts, especially with like perpetuity clauses. Like we own your likeness forever in every universe going forward. They'll, they'll deep fake you and make you say things with deep fakes becoming so realistic. They'll own your face and your name. And it's crazy. We need to get perpetuity clauses for characters out of, for personality out of contract. I think so right now. Here, I, I want to I say this. Like I don't, this, Daily Wire's got a lot of haters, and I can certainly understand not liking the Daily Wire or not liking certain personalities. I know people who are like, I love Clave and I don't like Ben Shapiro. Yeah. I know people who are like, I only watch Candace. I won't watch anybody else. I think everyone else is bad. And I'm like, okay, but like, that should show Daily, that like we don't all agree on everything. But Daily Wire existing is a massive net positive, regardless of whether you like what they're doing or not. Like, just to, again, what is a woman was a massive cultural uh, force. And that matters so much. We talk about culture and the, the importance of cultural dominance so much. That documentary reached regular people. Mm. It was so big. I mean, I, I, I uh, regular people I know were like, "Oh, I saw that thing that was going viral," and I'm like, "Hey, that's good. Do more of that." Mm. I don't got. I don't got to go work for them. Crowder doesn't have to go, go work for you guys. Work for I should say you guys, but for Jeremy or anything like that. But and that's why it's so crappy to paint a broad stroke you know paint with a broad stroke and say the daily wire is this because you're attacking Matt well that's just nothing to do with Stephen Crowder I have nothing to do with Stephen Crowder and yet you're basically making it seem like we're all plants and that we've done something wrong and that it's that's deeply upsetting to me it's it's super annoying to me I would like to see people stop saying that company is doing thing because it's people the mm-hmm. people are doing the thing with the guys of the company pr- attempting to protect their their person you know their identity but like no companies don't do things people fair, so fair fair point someone mentioned crowder never said the daily wire okay but like the schmaley schmeyer i mean how many freaking all of the context clues were it's like this is the crap the acting of like i'm not gonna say it was but i am gonna make sure you know that it's not the blaze they have a subscription service and that there are live ad reads and that they could afford to put all, enough money on a contract that I would have a conversation. Does your character oh, have glasses? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, this is, this is such a ridiculous defense. In four seconds, you can discern that this is about the Daily Wire. Can't be Fox News. They don't have live ad reads. He already told you that it's not the blaze. What does that leave us left with? Didn't you say that was, you also recognized the contract? Fox News. Yeah, well, I guess no, but he even before he got board. to it. I mean, when oh. you say live ad reads, a subscription service, you can't be Fox News because he's already left them and talked trash with them the whole right. time, and they don't do live ad reads, right? Who else could it have been? Just give me another clue. Who else could it have been? Prager U, 501c3, not for profit. Can't yeah. have been them. Right. Can't, can't be, tra- give me a person it could have been. Mm. So that's what everybody was saying, yeah. the Daily Wire. Yeah, so oh, what I you, never what, said so, a name. It's what like. Do, <laughs> what do you think about this? I think this was a bad move on Daily Wire's part that 
the contract said if you get demonetized, there will be a fee, but Crowder's already demonetized. They had, I told you, they had these same, this is why I'm saying this was just a conversation starter. They had these same things that made no, literally entirely no sense in my contract. I was, it, it literally, I was like, okay, is this, you guys, like, a lawyer just like copy and pasted this from somebody else's yeah. contract? Like, this is just a conversation starter. Like, they just wanted you to see the number and go, mm, excited and bring your lawyers in, right? There were literally things that were saying, like, I'm not on TikTok. They mentioned my TikTok. They mentioned my Snapchat. Uh, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not on any of these things and I'm never planning on being on them. So we can strike this, strike this. And, you know, and then you have, and then you say, okay, this one sounds okay. Can we include an extra line here? Like he kind of started this idea that my, um, my social media channels are controlled. Literally, they had something about access to my Twitter. Took it out. I said, I will never, ever, ever. My Twitter is how I made my entire brand. I will never even share a login to my Twitter. Right? And the, and they my were, Instagram, same exact thing. They, they so they created a separate Instagram, yeah. which they're allowed to do, which has Candace Owens Pod, and it has its own followers, and they release stuff from the podcast. I didn't want to sell my voice, you know, my social media things. It, it would have been nice for them to have access, but it's actually better for them because then they can own that page in perpetuity. Candace Owens Podcast, because I'm creating content for them, so they can share clips into perpetuity of what I have. they have paid for, Right. So it's like, that's again, just there. He's pretending that there was something nefarious going on there. I got the same stuff that made no sense. You'd say, just like he said, this makes no sense because I'm already demonetized from YouTube. That was my circumstance for Facebook. I was all, they had a thing about demonetization for Facebook. My lawyer went back and said, Kansas is already demonetized on Facebook. And they went, oh, that's right. Strike it from the clause. You know, for people asking too, like, yeah, when Crowder comes on, I'm going to let him Again, say say his piece. I'm not, you know, like Candace is giving her perspective working at the Daily Wire and what- I went through the co contract negotiation, so there's no way that he can pretend that there's something missing. He didn't go through them. He went through term sheet, don't like, $140 million, wham, 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 going on to YouTube. I went through the full five month negotiation, so there's nothing for me to make up here. You know someone, what I mean? Someone said, what if Crowder and the Daily Wire planned this for attention? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> now we're talking. LOL, I like the, that. The, like, I, I love a good conspiracy theory. The, the, <laughs> Jeremy, the Jeremy Boring response video was recorded December 3rd. <gasps> <laughs> oh, we go kidding, we I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love that. I don't know. Look, look. Again, I'll say it again. Crowder's not here to defend himself. You know, so you know. No, Candace, he's on YouTube. But, but Candace, Candace, he's on YouTube doing Candace, that. how do Sorry. you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but look, man. I'll, I'll I'll wrap up with this, and we'll we'll move on to some big worldly things with like the World Economic Forum. Alec Baldwin. We got to talk about Alec Baldwin. Uh, I I I look. I I negotiated with the Daily Wire on on like. Here's what happens. You know. Jeremy comes on the show and he says, is there, is there anything we can do together? And I'm like, he's like, cause I know you, you do a company and it's, it's not the same as like if we went to any other person and said, come work for us. And I was like, there's probably something we can work out. Look, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. And we're trying to build this thing. We're trying to do X, Y, and Z. We're trying to do cultural stuff. I know you guys are. We talked, we went back and forth. And I said, guys, I don't think there's anything here. And uh, Jeremy was like, I think you're right. We went over numbers, we went over everything. And uh, the Daily Wire said, what if we did this? And I said, I don't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for what we're doing because we want to do these things. And um, I'm just going to come out and say this. You know, I, I try to keep private details, but I said, I said, Jeremy, like, I might want to buy a billboard that says Liz Cheney is a fat pig. You know what I mean? Like, I know that, like, the daily, and he was, and he started laughing, and he went, "Well, I don't know about that." And I'm like, "Look, we're we're crazy weirdo rogues. What we do at Timcast, we 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 want to be be nuts, and we want to like not not crazy crazy, but we want to just be. We're we're, we're not the suits." and we're not the corporation, but I think what you guys are making is good because your version of the corporation is better than the Disney version of the corporation. But I'm not the corporation either, and I wanna make that very clear, and that's what annoys me, is that people just, they have this idea of what the Daily Wire is, and then they try to say that every single host exists under this idea. We disagree all the time. Like, there is literally, oh, it's, not, it's hard to find a, a, a moment where me and Ben Cross and agree on but things. I'm, but like, not, you know what I'm saying? And so they paint this thing of like, there is no, like, yes, the office is very corporate. I don't even go into the office. There's a podcast studio that I go into that is smaller than this, that I that I operate within. So it, it just it's very frustrating because people just don't understand. Yes, he is running his business, and there is a corporate side of the Daily Wire. And it's annoying to me to have to, though, answer for people that thinking that that somehow corporatizes Candace Owens. I've been the exact same Candace Owens from but the I'm, beginning of my YouTube day, days to now. But I'm, I'm not trying to imply anything about you or any of the hosts. I mean, like, they they... It's 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 a traditional corporation. It's got personalities of varying opinions, and like us putting a ninety-five foot billboard of a rooster and one of the biggest Times Square billboards makes no sense as a business, <laughs> but it makes sense culturally and it makes sense, you know, like we we want to we want to be more shocking, and the Daily Wire wants to beat Disney at their game. 
Mm. You know, we, we do to a certain degree, but I don't think, you know, I, look, I think maybe in 10 years we can have some kind of network that'll have a cultural force and that's a good thing. I think the Daily Wire, the way it's structured, actually is set up to poach the content, to poach the, the executives, to poach the talent from these industries. Of course, that makes you similar in some ways, but the output is corrected. You yeah. know what I mean? That's why I like the Daily Wire, you know, uh, despite not wanting to work for the Daily Wire. But in, at the end, you know, I, my, my, my thing with Jeremy was like, I don't think there's anything we could do transactionally, but there's a lot we can do culturally for fun. Yeah. And so we're actually working on some stuff. And, and, and the same thing is true. Like, you know, I talk to Crowder all the time about, well, I shouldn't say all the time, but periodically we talk about culture war issues. You know, what needs to be done, what we can do. We've talked about the stuff that Ian's working on with a decentralized network. Yeah, I got a new company, uh, relatively new, called uh, Inverted Technologies. And we're building like basically what Patreon attempted to do or didn't quite get right, but that you you basically upload, you download a packet, software packet, you at load the application, you can upload videos to a server of your choice, one that you have at your house, you can upload it to Rumble, and then you can get your, all these people can pay 10 bucks a month, whatever you want, different tiers of payments to get access to that content. And later, as we build this out, it's going to have search algorithms where you can find other people, other content creators that are using it and create a network where everyone owns their own stuff. And you That's can't, ultimately you can't be banned. The idea is like your website can also have a recommended section of similar content and you as the website owner. So like, let, let's say we did TimCast.com and we, we joined this network. You will see in the recommended tab, Steven Crowder. I could go, look, I don't want, you know, he's a competitor and I don't like his opinion. So I'm going to say on my website, he can't appear, but he's not banned from the network. Just my okay. personal site. So basically you create a decentralized. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So the idea would be you launch, you, you, you buy your own server time space for, or you make your own server. Mm -hmm. You set, you buy your own domain and then you download the package, install it on your server and you instantly have your own Patreon that connects to the network of all the other people using it for recommendation reasons. Cause the recommendation is the real driver of so much of, of everyone's uh, of people. If, if you make good content and you make a lot of it and it rises to the top, people will see it. And that's the machine that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So, so, but when YouTube bans you outright, you're, you're gone from the grid. When they shadow ban you, you're gone from the grid. This way, you can't do this. So I, I, anyway, I've talked about stuff like that and I want to see him succeed. I, uh, I, I would prefer that, you know, the conflict, the arguing or whatever wasn't, wasn't happening. But look, I, I talked to Steven. I, I genuinely think, believe that he thinks Daily Wire is a net negative in the space. I don't think he's doing this for money. Uh, you're, you're entitled to your opinion. I, I understand your perspective. I've talked to him about it and he said that, you know, these kinds of contracts are, I'll, I'll paraphrase my understanding. The old guard system created the problems. We, whatever we're building has to be new and it has to be different. It has to be better. And uh, it's funny because when I, when I do deals with people, I joke that I'm a communist and that's why they're getting such good terms. When I, when I, when I talk with Jeremy Boring, I'm like, this guy's a businessman who's trying to make sure no one can stab him in the back. The fact, the fact is, I think Steven Crowder doesn't know this because he hasn't started a business, but I've been stabbed in the back like 73 times. And it sucks every time, and I lose money every time, and my, th my safety is threatened every time. But, you know, like I, I jokingly say, I'm a communist, so blah, blah, blah. I'm not literally. But what I'm, what, what I'm trying to convey by that is I'm still willing to, to over uh, uh, extend myself if it means we're going to get better people, and that's the system I'm going to build. I don't fault the Daily Wire for running their business the way businesses run. I like the content the Daily Wire produces. I just won't be there when they produce it. Wonderful. You're a yeah. free market capitalist. Your idea is that if you believe that you have something better or you can do something better, you create the something better. And, and I then think you that's, take out the old guys. That, I mean, like, is that a, a foreign concept? Is that the, is, has this become a foreign concept? Like, Do, do we have to all be so no. nasty? It, to me, I just don't get it because I've never, since I've gotten into politics, I've never understood the mentality that you need to step on someone's head to go where. Like, oh, I just need to step on this person's head so that I can move upstream. It's like, why don't you learn to swim if you want to go upstream? You know, I, why don't you learn to swim and tread some water if you want to go upstream? What is I, this? What For a little bit of, ooh, I'm, I'm going to burn friendships? You keep calling them your friend. I, 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 it doesn't make any sense to me. I'll, I'll, I'll say my final thought on this, I suppose. And then again, Crowder will be here on Monday. We'll, we'll have a conversation from his perspective. Yo, if you're going to stop anybody, I don't understand why going after the Daily Wire is the first target. Even if the Daily Wire was doing these really awful contracts, like, or, or I should say, yeah. they're, do, they're doing term sheets, they're doing contracting in ways you don't like, I still think it's like, well, okay, well, at least they made What is a Woman. Let's focus on Disney and Netflix. Netflix mm -hmm. has done a bunch of pedo stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and the Daily Wire is just not a concern for me. Even if, if I was going to come out and be like, 
49% of the business dealings of the Daily Wire I don't like, but 51 is good, then I'd be like, I'll take that 1% and I'll focus on Netflix doing weird pedo crap. Yeah. Mm. But I actually think the Daily Wire is much better than that. I just, it's not my kind of business style. So, you know, I hope I hope Crowder um, just does his thing and succeeds. And and I, I, I think it's simple. You know, if it were me and I really did see the Daily Wire as a net negative, I'll, I'll put it this way. I mean, I talk about Disney all the time. I say, I don't expect you to abandon your Disney subscriptions because they have flubber. They have movies you know and love. I just hope to build a better website that eventually produces enough to where you say, I'd rather not have Disney. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's my strategy. But again, guys, I'm, I'm the milk, milk, milk toast fence setter. I'm the yeah. reformer, not a revolutionary. I'm not gonna come out, smash the ball on the ground and be like, I will stand for nothing. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do the math. I'm gonna go, Daily Wire's doing pretty good. You know, I might not like that, but that's, that's good for us. So, okay, where's our, where's our net problem? I'm, I'm much more slow, slow paced and calculate, you know, calculating than that. I think if the Daily Wire succeeds, we all succeed. And then when Disney's gone, when Netflix is gone, when Amazon Prime is gone, assuming, and the Daily Wire's the only one, then we can start saying, Daily Wire, you do better deals with your with your employees. And then the Daily Wire's gonna be like, you know, either do it or don't. My take is I'm glad the conversation is happening. Um, I think that Jeremy and Steven have, have seen each other as friends is important because sometimes it's easiest to criticize your friends. It's easier to criticize your friends than people that might go sue you and don't have any connection to you at all. And th and that Daily Wire is gaining a lot of steam and becoming larger and larger. So if there really are problems with the contracts or the terms uh, off the bat, it's important that they know that right away from people with, you know, large levels of influence. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you all next time.